so popular, it's common to see a line of people outside trying to get in. Baker's Kitchen opened six years ago in downtown Newburn, serving breakfast and lunch. Our Josh Birch stopped by for this week's Down Eats. When are we going to Baker's Kitchen? <laughs> It's a question on the minds of many in Craven County. Baker's Kitchen, delivering the goods to the fine folks of Eastern Carolina. It's kind of like an addiction after a while. And when I have family that comes in to visit, we always have to come down here. There's certainly worse places to have to go. From the moment you walk in the door, you're smacked in the face with delicious smells straight from the kitchen. When you walk in the door, you can smell the cinnamon rolls coming out of the oven because we do bake them fresh. She make a, a full sheet, which is about 20. Behind the mouthwatering goodness, Baker Lindsay Jernigan. And I'll put the cinnamon and sugar mixture on it. Wow, I can't get enough. You like sweet? between the cinnamon bun and the cinnamon sugar in between and then the icing on top, unbelievable. But if you think the buns are incredible, buckle up, because you ain't tasted nothing yet. You know, you take one bite and you feel like you've gone to heaven. Of course, we're talking about Baker's Kitchen's famous butter syrup. It's like the sweet baby Jesus syrup. But good luck getting the recipe. Played with cinnamon, I played a little bit with hazelnut, with almond, with a few different things. Whatever they did, it's worth it from the French toast, complete with the house-made bread. Powdered sugar on top, dunk it in the syrup. It's a perfect bite. To the chicken and waffles, with the chicken tenders breaded the Baker's Kitchen way. And we finish by rolling it in Lay's, crushed Lay's potato chips. Yes, your ears aren't deceiving you. Chicken rolled in potato chips, and then fried off. You get the breakfast and the waffle, the kind of lunch aspect with the chicken, the getting a nice crunch from the uh, potato chips that they bread it with. Community kitchen with the southern flavor. The southern flavor. <laughs> Damn good. <laughs> is also being shared with the out-of-towners. I just can't believe the quantity and the, the quality. No matter where you're from or if you're getting sweet or savory, Baker's Kitchen isn't going to disappoint. You have to put something on their plate that's so memorable that that's all they want to talk about. That was the best whatever I've ever had. That's what we look for. Eating in Newburn, Josh Birch, 90 Your Side.